This is the fire eel. The fire eel comes to us from Borneo, Myanmar, Sumatra, and Thailand. The fire eel is my favorite eel as it's the most colorful of all these spiny eels. And it's also the largest of all the eels in the freshwater hobby. But one thing to note about these so-called eels in the hobby is that, well, they're not really eels. They're plain old fish, but because they look kind of like eels and move like eels, we go ahead and call them eels. And although this fish is commonly seen in great sizes in pet shops and aquariums, those eels are nothing compared to the eels in the wild, which are scientifically reported at almost double the size of those kept in the hobby. Typically, the fire eel gets to around 20 inches in size when kept in an aquarium, but in the wild they have been recorded at 39 inches. Now the fire eel can be kept with other fishes, but do note that the fire eel is a nocturnal predator, and if kept with small enough fish for it to hunt, they will try to hunt them and you might see your smaller fish start to disappear overnight. They can be kept together with other fire eels under certain circumstances. As the fire eels begin to grow, they can become intolerant of each other, and you might have to separate them. If you do want to keep multiple fire eels, you have to give them plenty of hiding spaces, and as much space as possible. Full-grown eels can require a couple hundred gallons when it comes to their aquarium. The fire eel can be a bit sensitive, so water quality should be kept in healthy conditions. When it comes to feeding your fire eel, they're not too picky, just be sure to use foods that sink to the bottom of the tank. Their favorites are of course live foods like smaller fish and worms. And pretty much all eels absolutely love live bloodworms and blackworms. They also can accept most dry foods that sink to the bottom of the tank, but typically they don't really like to be fed dry processed foods. You are better off feeding them frozen foods like frozen bloodworms, frozen mysis shrimp, and frozen brine shrimp, just to name a few. A fire eel aquarium should incorporate a fine-grained sand substrate to allow the eels to follow their natural instincts and dig inside the sand to burrow. And because they like to dig themselves into the sand, it might not be the best idea to keep them with rooted aquatic plants, as they will most likely uproot them. If possible, try to get lighting that has a moonlight sort of setting. This is to allow them to traverse through the aquarium at night. The fire eel should be kept in water that is neutral to hard and with a temperature in between 72 and 82 degrees.